Konnichiwa, friendo! Hunter! I need your help! Magic's birthday is coming up. I want to throw her a surprise party, but I can't do it alone. I have no idea what that is. Right. I bet that meant musket ambush in your time. On Magic's birthday, everyone else will hide in a room. When I lead her there, you jump out and shout, Surprise! Then we eat cake. With the exception of cake, that is exactly like a musket ambush. <laughs> That's why I like you, Hunter. You're creepy, but informative. What do you need me to do? Nothing complicated. I don't need you to hunt special ingredients for a cake or anything like that. If you could get the other Midnight Suns on board, it would take a huge weight off my shoulders. Should I mention this to Tony, Carol, and the others? Uh, I don't know if they can keep a secret. I'm not even sure if I'll tell them about the party until that night. Oh, but I should probably invite Spider-Man. He seems like he'd really get into it. Do you really need me to do this? I don't, but I want them to see more of what I see. That you're part of the team. It'll mean a lot coming from you. All right. Let me know what you want. Still figuring out who and what I need, but I'll message you when I do. Probably tomorrow? Sounds good. Thanks for this. Do you have any questions? Why the surprise? Why not a normal birthday party? It'll be fun! All your friends showing up at once to wish you the best. <laughs> Doesn't that sound fun to you? Sounds like you really like surprise parties. Of course! I had a few when I was younger. Back when I thought I was part of a normal family. You do not often speak about that time in your life. Uh, why would I want to? It was a childhood of happy memories, before my quite literally evil parents pulled the rug out from under me. Ah, uh, but those parties... <laughs> my parents weren't throwing them to appease their dark gods, they wanted me to have the happiest birthday. Where are we going to have the party? I'm still scouting locations, but somewhere inside the Abbey. We'll make it work. That is all I had. I'm good for now. I'm good if you're good. 
Thanks for this, Hunter. And so you actually slept in that thing? That was probably a mistake. I kept having dreams that I was swallowed by Sandman. That's, uh, actually happened, you know. Look, man, I get it. It's not a decision to take lightly. I struggled with it for a while myself. What changed your mind? I guess I finally started trusting these fools. They may be a little crazy, but they're like family. And what about your real family? Don't you worry about what could happen? Ah, they're back in L.A. Much as my kid brother Gabe would love this place, they don't know a thing. Whatever happens here, never gets back there. To be honest, I don't even think we're in the same dimension. Um, what? Uh, never mind that. Point is, this is a safe place with good people. If there's anyone who can keep a secret, it's them. Sort of comes with the territory of being a midnight sun. Most of our lives weren't sunshine and candy before Caretaker recruited us. And now we've got a gigantic, demonically powered pizza oven in the forge. Excuse me, would you... Hey, man. It's okay. We can talk about something else if you want. Yes. Please, stay. Can't. Got something I need to do. I really thought I had him with the pizza thing. What is it with you both and Pete? Okay, you wanted it, you got it. You wanted what? I give you by popular demand, the man underneath the mask. Peter Parker from Forest Hills, Queens. Nice to see you finally ditch the spider face doily, Peter. We're all friends here. You got our attention, so what do you got to say, Petey? Um, hi? After all that build-up, I hope I didn't disappoint anybody. I mean, I can't shoot laser beams, light my skull on fire, or glow like the sun. Like Tony said, outside of the costume, I'm just boring old Peter Parker. I don't even have a cool screen name. I have seen you in battle with Venom, Peter. Believe me when I say you are anything but boring. Aw, oh, thanks. Jeez, Hunter, you trying to make me blush? I did not realize you embarrassed so easily. Oh yeah, I actually surprise myself at the things that embarrass me. Speaking of, now that we took care of the giant radioactive spider elephant in the room, we might as well get to know one another. If there's anything else you're curious to know about me, ask away. I'm apparently an open book now. So what do you say, Hunter? Care to step inside this Spider-Verse? I have encountered werewolves, half-vampires, dragon men, but I have never encountered a Spider-Man before. There must be quite a story about how you became this way. It's actually not the most epic story. Sort of a field trip gone wrong scenario, if you get me. <laughs> I do not. Well, a small irradiated spider bit me while I was working up the nerve to ask Mary Jane Watson if she'd like to check out the Pym Particle exhibit at the Empire State Museum. Next thing I know, the high-energy photons injected into my bloodstream started altering my genomic sequence. At first, I thought I was having an allergic reaction, and then I started climbing up the walls. I told my Aunt May it was late-onset puberty. She, uh, believed me for some reason. So, how about you? Get bit by a radioactive hunter or something? Years of discipline and training under Caretaker's guidance forged me into the warrior I am today. Caretaker is like your aunt, right? Yes, sister to Lilith. She raised me when my mother fell. Aunt May became my guardian after my parents... Um, past. I guess we have that in common. I suppose we do. You do not seem like a typical Avenger. Avenger? Me? Oh, no. Between my double major at Empire State, taking photos for the Bugle, and, you know, the whole protecting the neighborhood thing, who has the time? Besides, they haven't asked me to join them. Um, 
yet, of course. What about you? How's this whole Midnight Sun thing work? You like the captain or something? Perhaps according to a prophecy, but in truth, it is only unified together that we will all prevail over Lilith and Cthon. Ego is simply the tool of our enemy. You sure you're not already an Avenger? Definitely know a guy who'd love to hear that. Here's a hint. It rhymes with smapped in Hermerica. And just how many years has there been a Spider-Verse? Oh, you mean how long have I been doing this? A few years now. You should have seen the original suit. Might still have it lying around the dorm somewhere. Makes a great blanket. How about you? How long have you been... hunting? At this point, I suppose I am well over three centuries old. That is, if you count the years spent above and below ground, of course. Of course! I mean, whatever gets you senior discount sooner, am I right? You are a fascinating man. Ooh, I like that. Friendly neighborhood fascinating man. Wonder if Stark owns that trademark yet. This Venom creature's obsession with you is strong enough to overcome my mother's call. Until now, I thought that impossible. It's a uh, complicated. Eddie, the guy underneath the giant oozing mouth, was a reporter with me at the Bugle a while back. I may have ruined his career by exposing a phony source of his on this big murder case. This, of course, led him to the alien symbiote that had secretly bonded with me after my original suit was trashed on Battleworld. We can talk about that little adventure later. Long story short, I thought I had eradicated the suit with a giant church bell. Before I knew it was alive, of course. Anywho, the alien symbiote decided to merge with Eddie, and the two have been hunting me down ever since. It's your basic simple misunderstanding, right? Well, I guess every superhero needs a super nemesis. Venom is mine. It must be tough having your own mom be yours, huh? From a caretaker has told me, Lilith ceased being my mother the day she gave her soul to the Darkhold. The mother of demons is all that remains now. There's some movies you and I really need to watch. It used to be a trilogy, now I've lost count. Either way, call me a romantic, but I believe there's still good in everyone. Guess that's why I have a soft spot for Eddie. And the symbiote too. That symbiote saved my life on more than a few occasions. Deep down, I know there's more than what you see on that slimy, oozing, brain-eating surface. Thank you, Peter. I should be going. For both of us? I gotta thank you too, Hunter. I was sort of holding back before. You know, didn't want to be a ch Anyway, um, you gotta go. I'll talk to you soon. Of that, I have no doubt. Farewell, Peter. Good chatting with you, Hunter. What's up, Hunter? I thanked you for bringing me back with you, right? I know we're here because people are in danger, but I have to admit, I'm a little excited. Man, I just wish I could have brought my brother Gabe along. He looked. Nice shirt. Too bad you had to die for it. Yes? They're not always glamorous. These missions are still... The longer we can forestall the prophecy, the more time we have to beat it. Okay. It's nothing. What is wrong? I can't play darts anymore. Why not? I can't lose. I get the max score every game. I can even pull off some crazy Robin Hood shots. I've tried blindfolds, facing away from the board, and one finger throws. Perfect score every time. <laughs> 
you need to find something to replace darts. Like what? If physical activity is too easy for you, why not try something different? Hmm. Tony always tries to get me to play Go. That's because it's the only scenario where he knows he can kick my butt. So learn how to play. Beat him at his own game. Maybe. He's insufferable when he's winning. Always gets under my skin. Then the game you are really playing is learning not to let Tony under your skin. That's clever. And it'll freak him out. Yeah, okay. I'll try it. We're doing this again. Make plans. Who is a good girl? It is my Charlie girl. Uh-oh. Here comes trouble. I thanked you for bringing me back with you, right? I know we're here because people are in danger, but I have to admit, I'm a little excited! What is it, Charlie? Find something?
Bruno's my favorite hunter. I had some questions about the party. Sure, what's up? That is all I had. I'm good. See? Was there something you wanted to tell me? Have you ever noticed an unusually ornate bowl sitting near my altar? Keep an eye out for it the next time you're there. You'll know it when you see it. You are welcome to attend Ileana's surprise party. As much as I would enjoy that, my presence unsettles those incapable of perceiving me. I'll celebrate from afar. So you will be there in spirit? Oh, Hunter, how I've missed your wit. Yes, dear? Why, hello, Hunter. Don't sneak up on an old lady like that. Hunter? You have problem?
So, like, Hunter, uh, don't let this go to your head, but I think you're okay. You do? Yeah, uh, I mean, I see you trying to make me feel included, and I thought I should take a moment to thank you for not leaving me out. Caretaker makes me feel like a child sometimes, but you don't, so, like, thanks. Caretaker sees herself as the matriarch of this team, and as a maternal figure, she tends to be protective of her own. Ugh, seriously, Hunter? Are you suggesting she's just being overprotective of me? Or just protective. Gah, you know what? Never mind. I came out here to thank you for putting your trust in me, and I'm determined to keep it positive. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I see you making an effort to not make me feel like a complete reject, and I appreciate that. I need all the allies I can get on this apocalyptic reality show because I do not want to get voted out of this abbey or off this world. Reality show? Vote? Just try and not get eliminated, Hunter. Good girl, Charlie. Who is a good kitty? <laughs> 